Start with a 12 stitches long base chain. Do a turning chain and then work single crochet stitches for 6 rows. 7th row. 9 single crochet stitches. 1 double decrease in the last 3 loops. 8th row. Skip the first base loop, work 6 single crochet stitches and do another double decrease. Ninth row, skip a base loop, work 4 single crochet stitches and this time do a ordinary single stitch decrease. Tenth row, skip base loop and in the other three loops work a double decrease and now we have this triangular shape and this time we don't need to turn the job because we are going to work diagonally with the little difficulties of finding our own way because the loops on the diagonal line are not going to be clearly defined. So we start and we work five single crochet stitches and we add one and the last stitch so that we will end up with six single crochet stitches on the first diagonal row. And here they are six single crochet stitches. Turning chain and I work four single crochet stitches and one single crochet decrease. And that's the second row. Third row. Starting from the second loop I did four single crochet stitches. And I am now at the fourth row and I work four single crochet stitches. We are at the fifth row. Skip a base chain and work three single crochet stitches. Sixth row. One single crochet stitch and one decreased. Seventh row of the put the last one. In the last two loops I will work a decreased single crochet and I finish the heel of the boot. I did my turning chain and now I start working diagonally once again and I will do 14 single crochet stitches. Second row increase a stitch in the very first base loop so you have one, two single stitches in one loop and then keep going for other 13 single crochet stitches. Now third row of the foot of the boot. Skip the first base loop and starting from the second work 14 single crochet stitches. Row number four of the boot's foot. I did 12 single crochet stitches. Now I do one decrease in the last two loops. Row number five. Skip the first base loop and starting from the second work 12 single crochet stitches. I did now row number six which consists of 11 single crochet stitches. Now and I keep going the very same way, so 11 single crochet stitches for other 7 
rows. All the same, 11, 11, 11, and so on for 7. And see you again at row number 14. Start row number 14. 8 single crochet stitches. 10 a double decrease. Row number 15. I skipped the first base loop and starting from the second I did 6 single stitches. Now I have 2 loops left and I do a decrease. Row number 16. Again I've skipped the first base loop. Then I did 4 single crochet stitches. And now again I do a decrease. Last row. Skip the first base loop and starting from the second work two single crochet stitches one and two then work a decreased point in the very last three loops and that was the tip of the toe.